Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to make this launching cat project. Let's first off, let's call it launch cat. And let's move our cat sprite into the corner, resize it to 80. And let's pull out a when green flag clicked, repeat until, and let's repeat until not mouse down. Let's create a new variable, let's call it speed x for the sprite only. Let's create another one called speed y for the sprite only. And create one more, call it power for the sprite only. Let's go to the operators and pull out a subtraction and a multiplication and another subtraction. And let's subtract zero time and then subtract power times by mouse x subtracted by speed x. And then make another one, duplicate it, and let's switch it for y's. So it's mouse x and speed y. Then let's set speed x and speed y and repeat until to our values we created. And at the beginning, let's wait until mouse down. And let's set power to one for now. And as you can see, we have our values changing up in the top left corner. Let's create a new variable, call it X for the sprite only, and a new variable, call it Y for the sprite only. And then let's pull out a set X two and put it in, in the set X Y and put a plus x plus oh let me fix that Oop. x plus let's grab um our multiplication and let's power times by mouse x for mouse y. So let's then set x and set y to our current position. So x to negative 162 and y to negative 76. And let's test it. Okay, well, we have a drawn back cat. Let's maybe, let's set our current position to X and Y when we start the game. So that way we're where we want it to be. And let's set power to 0 0.4. Now set that up. Now we have a fairly good, like you can draw back the cat. I want to change the X position to 100 and Y position to negative 70 though. We hide all these variables. Okay. Let's, let's pull out a forever loop and set speed X to 0 0.95 times by itself. And then let's pull out a change y, speed y by negative one. And we will then pull out a repeat 10 times. And let's move in steps. And let's grab an operator. Let's grab the square root operator and have it set to speed x times by speed x plus speed y times by speed y. And because we're repeating 10 times, we'll need to divide by 10. There, so now we, have, we should have a moving cat. And if you pull it back further, you'll go, it'll go a lot faster. So 
So let's then pull out an if then, and let's have it if speed x is less than zero, then let's point in direction. Let's actually replace our if then with an if else. Okay, and then point in direction negative 90 minus the a tangent of speed y divided by speed x and let's just duplicate that and re instead of negative 90 let's do just 90 Now I have a nice flying cat. Okay, let's duplicate our point in direction and put it on at the start. And now when we're drawing back the cat, he's pointing in direction. Okay, so our speed x and y are changing. But let's make it faster. So let's create a new block, call it move, and move in direction. And make sure you click run without screen refresh. That's what's gonna make it move fast. Put it in the script. And we should have a flying cat, like crazy. So let's Let's set power to 0 0.1, and that should make it a lot less. I might actually go with like 0 0.2. Yeah, I like that. What? Let's go ahead. This is pretty fun, but I think we need the balls. Show me where we're gonna go. So let's make a new sprite, call it line, and just make a circle. I'm going with 23 by 23 size, and then we'll make a variable, call it power for the sprite only, speed x for the sprite only, speed y for the sprite only. Let's go to controls and repeat 20 times. This will be the length of our line. And let's pull out our sensing. So we're gonna get grab the power of sprite one, the speed x of sprite one, and speed y of sprite one. And that will be at the beginning of this script. And let's set x and y to the x position and the y position of sprite one and i'm gonna change y by negative 10. okay so let's add a if else if Speed x is less than zero, so we're gonna do the same thing as right one. But if it then we'll point in direction negative 90 minus a tan of you know what? I'm just gonna drag. If you drag and drop it, it will come to this sprite. So that's what I'm gonna do. So negative 90 and 90. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the move and direction, and I want to, we're going to move, and we're going to set speed x to 0 0.95, exactly what we did in sprite 1, 
and then times it by itself. Then change speed y by negative one. So exactly the same thing we're doing in sprite one. Let's also put a set size two, and I'm gonna remove the divide by 10 on the move and steps because we don't need that. So let's set size to our moose, how much we're moving, times by, let's just go with 100 for now. So let's create a new block. Let's call it draw line and hit the run without screen refresh. So let's, and at the end of the script, in the repeat 20 times, we need to make sure we create a clone myself. So if I make a new message, call it draw, oops, draw, and then we'll just put the draw line block underneath it. And let's call draw whenever we're firing the cat, in the process of drawing back the cat. And if we run the game now, we should see we have our big they're a little bit too big, but we have our little circle. When I start as a clone, let's wait zero seconds and delete this clone. Because what's happening is, is there's like tons of clones because it's just making more and more. We're not deleting them. Let's set size to 50 times by the square root or our move script. And I think that looks a lot better, but I think it could definitely be a little smaller. I might just try deleting the times 50. Well, let's go with something like 10. Now oh, that's still a little bit too big. So you could do something like this, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to create a new variable, call it letter, for this part only, and let's set letter to 100, and let's change letter by negative, by, let's go with actually 4, and then we'll set size to letter. So that way, every th time it gets smaller and smaller. See if you can simplify this if you can. And now, look at that. That's pretty good. But if you notice, that line gets stuck at the top. So, the way we can fix that, let's create a new costume and just make a huge big square. Switch to costume sprite one when I start as a clone, and then switch to costume co switch to costume to costume two at the start of the draw line. Let's also make sure the clone is showing and the original sprite is hiding, so that way we don't get a leftover ball in the middle. And yeah, I think it's looking real good. Let me hide all my variables. Let's do the same thing for the cat. Let's make a big square and we'll go to move direction and at the beginning of the script we'll move to costume 3 and let's actually edit move and direction and add a input of costume and put that with the switch to costume to costume at the end of the script. Fill in the input with our costume number. Let's also set costume to one at the beginning of the script. And now if we shoot it way up there, the cat disappears and it comes back and you don't you don't see it. Let's edit the project now. We don't have to re-click the green flag over and over and over to play. So to do this, we'll put an if then. So if our 
y position is less than negative 190, then we're going to stop this script. But if we want to have it restart, we'll have to create a, a new message. So let's replace the when I clicked when with when I receive and a new message of shoot cat. And let's broadcast shoot cat right before we stop the script and broadcast it when green flag is clicked. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments where you'd like me to take this project. And please smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Thank you.